We're here at the garage sale and everybody is wheeling and dealing. Now, one thing I think is interesting is that we only have like 15 minutes to shop. Now, I'm a little bit of a Greek and uh, I bypassed that by buying a $5 seller pass. And I think it's worked for me simply because I got my Lego deals and uh, we got some notable figures. Like, there's Miles Turner in the back. Look at that. He's holding the Bricklink designer set. And where does that look like it came from? my home because i had just sold it to him so shout out miles turner for picking that up i can't wait to see it in your lego city and uh hopefully one day you can get to come see our lego city i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and probably show you some of the wheels and deals that are currently going on at this uh at this garage sale like i said this is probably one of my favorite things about uh brick world chicago just because of the vast majority of like different lego sets and just different items that you can pick up here from like collectibles to misprints to exclusives and just customs it is truly an experience and even like minifigs so anyways let's go look at for some cool items steal of the day the bricklink uh the bricklink designer 1970s diner went for 200 to miles turner can't complain about that one let the garage sale begin eight o'clock on the nose entry so much goodness for sale i can't actually believe how many great lego sets i'm gonna do a full tour of this as we go around because there, there's so many good Lego sets, so much vintage, so much new. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm excited for this. And uh, I bet so many people are gonna get good deals. Look at them, pouring in. Hey, there's Ryan. I will reflect on one of the negative parts of the Brick World Chicago uh, garage sale, and that was you needed a lottery ticket to get in. It wasn't just like an open invite. I found that kind of frustrating, but I mean, judging from some of these videos, there was a really a lot of people and to go with that being said they were like really adamant about not selling before the garage sale it was like really really strange and then on top of that lottery tickets were like you got an 8 p.m entry you got an 8 15 p.m entry you got an 8 30 and 8 45 and a nine o'clock and then it was just kind of open from that point forward but i don't know if i got a nine o'clock i would be a little frustrated just because all of those deals are already going down uh, from the beginning but one cool thing is that you can kind of barter with everybody making sales and uh, meet new people and just overall look at some like super highly collectible items like there's just so much lego here it's pretty astonishing and to be truthful in an event like this everyone here who's brought lego to sell is in the market to sell so i don't think they're gonna you know battle for the small dollars but who knows right because I definitely battled <laughs> to and from for like very small amounts in comparison to like dollar values of some of these Lego sets that were for sale. So I don't know. It's it's always a hit or miss on what you can and can't kind of get for some of these sales. Um, it has a mix of like new modern Lego compared to like retired Lego to like vintage Lego to like minifigs that are misprints. Or hey, there's Tyler from Life Brick selling a bunch of Lego. Uh, just really, really cool items. And you could basically find just about like anything at these kind of sales, which I think is really lovely. I did make a huge, huge purchase at this event. And it was adding to my Lego train collection. And it was a hefty price point. I ended up picking up seven of these Santa Fe uh, Lego trains. And uh yeah, I guess we'll talk about that maybe in a separate video, but I did find that at the garage sale, and I don't think I'd ever find, uh, very rarely find an entire collection like that anywhere else except for events like this. So there is good takeaways, like there's the Merce set there for 450 I actually got a sealed Santa Fe and sealed BNSF from, from this vendor, but I let those go to Ryan for a really exceptional price, but uh, you could probably find more on, that, on his channel in the near future. Like I said, a bunch of Lego here and overall was a great experience and tons of people. If you're ever at Brickwood, Chicago, you have to go to that event. Moving on into the event, we also have a ton of really awesome people. Like there's Emil Soros speaking to a crowd here and also doing a signing. And we'll see some more people do the signing here in just a little. So if you want to meet the current reigning and defending world Lego Masters champion, We've got duck picks for you right over here. So, right over there at that table, Chris is heading over. He's got some stuff for you. Go see Chris for the next hour. Thanks, guys. And welcome to Brickland 2024. Let's go. Like there was a great example of Emma Soros doing her speak to the community and then also doing a whole meet and greet session and then followed by Duck Bricks and so many more amazing Lego creators down the line. And of course, here's a little scene of an elevator scene with there's Brent, there's Tyler, there's Cooper, there's Cody. 
just making new friends at Brick World Chicago. Uh, moving into our next event here, this was a probably 2, 3, 4 a.m. night, and we're just kind of hanging out in a circle, <laughs> having drinks. Look, at, I even brought Ryan a glass Coca-Cola because glass cola is definitely superior and got me through Brick World. Around a six. We got Tyler, Life Bricks, uh, uh, giving away packs. I was like, Maybe. For you. Can we get Georgiana Live Rip? Let's rip it. Uh, you got change? Yeah. We, we have the addiction. Yo, city, I got an idea for next year, bro. Let's get a rip. Let's get a rip. We got Kai. Who's that? Uh, oh, wolf? No, a warrior? Oh, it's in German. Okay, there's Nia. What season is this? That's a puzzle piece, mystery puzzle piece. Oh, what? Pythor? Neon Pythor? What? That's kind of nice. And then, clip it? You didn't get it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Ooh, it's got like Zane in there and yeah, Nia. Next, uh, Kai's the hollow. That's a good riff. German Kai. Here's a small event at Brick World Chicago where it was the largest YouTuber meetup ever. That was pretty cool. Only at Brick World Chicago. And then one of the last events which happened right after the garage sale. So basically the garage sale ran to, I think around 10 PM. And then I think starting, you know, maybe a little bit of a break, continue to wheel and deal, uh, maybe take it upstairs. There was this, um, it's called world of lights and this kicks off at around 11 PM Saturday night. And I've feel like that's pretty common every single year. Basically, the whole convention stays open, which they do 24 hours a day during this whole entire time period. But they turn off the lights and all of these Lego mocks come alive. And I showcase just a few of the mocks and you can see the creators cards here. So a uh, huge shout out to some of the designers on some of these sets. Like my gosh, that was an impressive build with all of the colors, the lights inside of it, as well as just being an amazing mock. And here was the one with the roller coaster, which I actually put all of these sets uh, in our full Brick World Tour collection video. But uh, there's Jeremy's uh, Tilt McCoy. Uh, that was a really cool one as well. But anyways, the gist of this is the overall experience, right? Like the overall experience of seeing the world of lights, I definitely think is a one of one thing. Now I have done it in a few years past and I don't think it's been as exciting for me since the first year I've done it, but I would highly recommend at least doing this at one point in your Lego convention career because it truly is breathtaking. You get to see so much different Lego lit up and just overall different designs and like ideas. Uh, like here was that Dungeons and Dragons mock by Kevin fully lit up. Like you wouldn't see that during the day. So it, it truly is a magical experience, but that's going to wrap up Brick World Chicago 2024. Hope you enjoyed.